Hey everyone, it's me, Canute here, coming at you with another video. Sorry it's been a little while since my last video came out. You know, I've just been really busy, wrapped up with a whole bunch of business stuff, and sometimes life just happens to be like that. This video is not gonna be talking about really business or marketing and stuff like that, which I normally talk about. It's gonna be more towards the military, and actually, um, what I feel like is the biggest differences between the Army National Guard and the Air National Guard and uh, what you should probably join if you're looking to join that or kind of what the benefits are of each branch and uh, what I like about them, what I dislike and um, yeah, I'm just gonna go into that really quick. Um, so a little bit about myself, I joined in November 2016 um, around, that was when I was getting that was my senior year of high school, so I, I joined, I did the RSP program in Army National Guard until about July of the next year. So I didn't, I still had like six or seven months in where I, over six or seven months where I didn't actually really do much except for the monthly drills. I was enlisted, but I wasn't really doing much after that. Um, you know, I was just kind of going to the RSP drills and taking PT tests, which is all good. It's really good for you. I mean, it gets you prep for basic training. And so I'm not going to talk about that too much, but if you are interested about more particular particular questions about like what my experience was with the Army National Guard, um, feel free to drop down a comment and let me know and I'll, I'll be sure to make a video or at least respond to your comment. So I'm going to rewind just a little bit here. And what happened with me is I joined the Army National Guard and then after about three years, no, yeah, roughly three years of joining and serving in that, um, I ended up, technically two and a half, um, I ended up joining the Air National Guard because I found a full-time job that I really wanted to go after and I thought that was really cool and I really wanted to go, go towards that and it was like perfectly in my field, my IT career field, it was a step up. So I was like, yeah, let's do this, um, I really want to do it. It was a move, definitely. I'm in California now, so it definitely was a move. Um, you know from Washington State however it was kind of a nice change that we wanted to go for um, and you know it, it pays well um, and everything like that so I'm really happy about that you know it really sets myself up for my civilian career and uh, I guess touching on that a little bit um, that's definitely one benefit I already know about the Air National Guard I mean from my six months of being in so far roughly six months um, I can just tell that the Air National Guard is much more career oriented um, because like I don't know what the, the culture is a little differently in the Army National Guard they are solely really focused on you being like a soldier first and then you can have your other responsibilities so like I would as an IT specialist I would be on striker tanks like going down the freeway you know doing stuff like that I mean I wasn't doing like infantry stuff for sure um, as far as training and all that stuff goes on drills and AT and all that but I definitely was um, doing more field stuff and so that's just kind of what it comes down to when it, it's like actually what you're doing um, on a day to day or I should say uh, like a month to month basis. Um, so that's kind of one thing I needed to put out there is I think just the biggest difference so far between the two that I've noticed is just the culture difference. I mean in the Air National Guard you have such a more like realm around your career and career progression like all the systems in place are really preparing you for your career and not to say that the Army National Guard doesn't have that but it's just definitely kind of lacking um, and I don't want to beat up on the Army National Guard too much because guys there's a lot of fun stuff and a lot of great lessons I learned there too um, one big thing that I'd say is great about joining the Army National Guard um, is it does really just push you to the limits I mean I was talking to one of my buddies uh, who works with me and he was just saying how like at BMT it was almost like too easy and it was almost like a joke at this point so um, and I don't know how basic training is now for the army I know that there's some things that have changed for that too so that's a bummer but I would say just mentally it really does like change you and I noticed like a change coming home um, you know in my habits in my mentality a little bit I've always been kind of a go-getter and so that applies to a lot of things but I think that when you join the Army National Guard um, you you might be exposed to a lot more like just hard stuff mentally that you have to get through. So uh, for me, it was it was one of my biggest hurdles was like running and stuff. I mean that two miles, like guys, I was running like a three mile or uh, sorry, I was running like three laps in high school, and then they like had to call me in because I was too slow because I couldn't really finish, and it was like 13 minutes. So I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you tell me. So to be able to like go from that where I can't even finish in 13 minutes for one mile to going to a PT test a couple years later and I'm able to do 
1440 on for my two mile time is really cool I mean that's just amazing like I would never have thought that I would be able to do that so I mean just you can see like mentally there it really does like train you to just really think that way and I would be concerned that I wouldn't get that necessary like that experience necessarily from joining the Air Force so I mean guys take it for what it's worth I mean if you feel like you already have a stronger mentality if you already are older um, I would say the Air Force is probably a better way to go just because as you, as you grow up and stuff you're going to have more of those difficulties that just come naturally to you more um, and I think like the Army National Guard is great for that especially coming out of high school and stuff it just builds you it makes you so much older so much quicker um, and not like older in a bad way I mean maybe you get a bad back but, uh, but I mean like older in the sense that you your mentality uh, definitely shifts towards being more mature in a certain way like you can take on challenges and you know that you don't stay in like this this mode where you have to like you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this or not. Like, you just go get it, you know what I'm saying? And, like, that's just great for me because as, like, a business owner and stuff, like, you got to take risks. You got to do all this. And, like, you know that with the military, the Army, um, it just, especially, it just really pushes you to show that you can accomplish those things that you might have been in your previous life kind of just like, well, I don't know what I should do. So I'm just giving that, leaving that out there. Um, I do know, like, like I said, the Air Force does prep you for your career more. But you need to look at other things other than just your career. Um, you know, look outside the box a little bit more. And so I would say that I definitely am the way I am because of some things that the Army National Guard has taught me, um, especially through the training. Um, it's just a lot more restrictive. So I feel like in life that I am a lot more grateful for some things and it also has taught me a lot more things. And uh, so I guess that's a kind of a note between the two. Um, and, uh, you know, I. I would just say as what I would join and and the end of things like what would I join now if I was looking at it and I was coming back from high school and I had to join one or the other I would still say Army National Guard just because I got to do so many fun things like I will never forget throwing grenades I will never forget like launching grenade launchers I'll never forget shooting um, you know light machine guns and all that stuff like I will never forget those things and those experiences that are awesome but past that I would still say that just having those difficulties in my head those challenges through basic training, through all the stuff that I've done and all the stuff that they've thrown at me. I think that all that was great. And now I'm just really blessed and happy that I was able to transfer the Air, Air National Guard. Um, I was able to get like a conditional release. So three years into my contract, and my contract was six years, um, two with the IRR, so it was actually eight years. Um, but I was able to basically end that contract early by three years. Um, and sign up with the Air National Guard so for another three years. So it was kind of interesting, but it had to go like all the way up to the general and all that. So it's kind of a long process and it definitely was, I, 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 anticip I anticipated it to be very long. So, um, you know, I would say that it's just, if you want to go after that, you know, after you join the Army National Guard or if you're thinking about it now and you're already in the Army National Guard, I mean, I would just say go for it if that's what you want to do. Um, for me, it was only because I was looking into going into a full-time job and what they were offering in the Army National Guard definitely wasn't the same from what I wanted to go into in the Air National Guard um, in my field. So I would just say that it's, you know, it, it just worked out perfectly for me. Um, like I said though, if you're older, you might want to consider just going straight into the Air National Guard because you might already have some of those kind of maturity things um, kind of instilled in you, a little bit more discipline being older. Who knows though, if you also don't, like I know some older people who don't have discipline or don't have like those mental toughness things that the Army teaches you, um, then I would say it's still perfect and I think it's perfect for anybody. So um, just, you know, note that and then as far as the career piece goes, that'll always come over time. Like the Army does have stuff that can help you with that. So don't think that, oh, if I join the Army, I'm just going to be, you know, I'm just going to do fun stuff, but it doesn't get me anywhere. And I definitely did get out of like the Army National Guard. I definitely had a lot of cool opportunities that they gave me, like right out of uh, training with AIC, I was able to get a job at a bank in uh, doing help desk IC, like one week after they hired me just because of my training that I had in the Army National Guard, going through AIT and all that. So um, definitely don't discount that. I would say from there, um, going into uh, the rest of my work and my rest of my career was also just kind of uh, built to build on each other, you know. So I, I would definitely say don't discount the Army National Guard for that, 
but really at the end of the day it's going to be up to you um, and what you like to do better. And the Air National Guard, our day to day stuff, I mean it's it's um, definitely just more career oriented and like more of your job. Think of it almost run like a big, like a corporation or a business. It's not like the Army National Guard or the Army in general where you're uh, it's a similar to other branches too where they focus more on discipline and more on those sorts of things they they don't care about it as much uh, I'm not gonna say that they don't at all because they do but they don't it's not their focus their focus is on preparing you as best as you can in your abilities and your job um, and then that's how they feel that you best serve the, the branch so I feel like I'm not talking on behalf of the Air Force here at all I'm just saying that I feel like that is kind of the overall mentality um, and definitely they want you to be a good airman and uh, you know contribute greatly and contribute like have the uh, military values instilled in you I'm not saying that they're tossing out that out of the window at all But I would just say some of those difficulties and challenges that they place on you in the Army National Guard or in the Army or Other branches as well is just a little bit more significant. But yeah guys I, I really do appreciate you watching this video um, Let me know if you have any other questions here and uh, feel free to comment down below and uh, I would love to reach out to you guys um, You know if there's any uh, any questions that you guys want answered. I'd love to do more military related videos um, nothing you know too in-depth or anything but I would love to talk more about it with you guys if you guys have any general questions like what was training like or anything like that so um, I would really really do appreciate you um, leaving a comment leaving a like and subscribing for more videos and thank you very much and have a good one